Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the MedStar Health Cancer Network's Knowledge is Power webcast right here on Facebook Live. I'm your host, Jamie Costello from WMAR ABC 2 News, and we're streaming you live right now at MedStar Health Bel Air Medical Campus. We have 11 of the most experienced oncology experts in the region right here, and they're ready to discuss cancer prevention and detection of the next hour. So if you're watching us on the MedStar Health Facebook page, Post your comments right now, and we'll share your Facebook friends. We can join in the discussion. We want to hear from you. We are here to talk with you about cancer. You see patients right here in this campus. Tell us about this campus. So what's fabulous here is that we're all under one roof. Yeah. So welcome to my home. Uh -huh. You can do everything here. You can even spend the night over in prompt care. But uh, <laughs> we do all of the service for diagnosing cancer, for treating cancer. We do radiation, we do surgical biopsies, we do scans, we give chemotherapy. So it's all under one roof, which is really, really convenient. Patients are loving it. You want to talk about early detection. That, everything we hear tonight, that is the key to everything, right? I see people who have maybe a lesion in the bone, and we're talking about it. And then I'll say, by the way, when was your last breast exam? All right, we are asking you that are watching right now on our Facebook Live to type true or false in the comments section here. Lung damage that leads to cancer can be repaired by quitting smoking. So if we do colonoscopies and we're able to see these polyps when they're not cancerous and remove them, you're practically removing the risk of this polyp turning into a cancer down the line. More and more people are going for colonoscopies. You're removing these polyps much before they become a problem. Wait a minute, hold on, let me get to this because Tammy Lang's on and she's on Facebook Live and she asked a question, can you have genetic testing if a close relative like a parent has it, like an example, leukemia? Can you have genetic testing if a close relative, a parent has it? Hi, I'm Emily Kaczynski. I'm Hello, the genetic Emily. counselor in the Cancer Center. So um, leukemia, as far as um, the information that we have right now, isn't largely thought to be genetic. So that history to me doesn't sound too concerning. You want to go back to Dr. Curian again. Uh, we have a question for you from Tony. Is there any physical symptoms of colon cancer other than having a colonoscopy? So symptoms appear when the mass is bigger. So if you're having, it could present mainly with blood and stool. We have a question off Facebook here. Here we go. Laura, there are studies looking into whether a nipple sharing surgery is as successful as a total mastectomy for those who want to be proactive for the bracket genetic mutations. Anybody with an opinion on that? Dr. Fernandez, you got one. They've done studies looking at nipple sparing mastectomies both to treat cancer and for prophylactic surgery. Oh, well, uh, anybody want to answer an insurance question? <laughs> Oh, now, all, all you uh, leave the, there's the exit door right back there. Uh, Mary Ann, both sisters have had breast cancer and a niece with breast cancer. It looks like it's coming down your, your way. Get her, give her the mic off, right, Emily. Would genetic testing be covered under insurance? Yes, so when you have three or more relatives in a family um, with breast cancer or ovarian, um, genetic testing is covered. So a lot of times I'll get, you know, the mother's daughter who hasn't had breast cancer in and I say, let's, you know, go home, get your mom, bring her in and let's start genetic testing with her because it's going to be much more informative for the family. We were putting up a poll. Here's the next poll on Facebook. Do organic foods really make a difference in cancer risk? Do or, what do you think? So right now there is not any clear research that organic foods really help protect against cancer a lot more. The pesticides that are sprayed on foods, we can wash those off and that's very important. But people have got to be watching out for what's going on, right doc? A absolutely, you have to look out for each other. Even if uh, I'm at the pool and I see a strain or stranger, I'll say, hey, you, you might want to get that checked now. <laughs> so, and, and, well, what and, pool are you hanging out? Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> we got another Facebook from Christina. Is there an oncologist at MedStar that specializes in renal cell carcinoma? We partnered with another general urinary surgical oncologist who sees a lot of kidney cancers. Here's one from Marie. This is, this is a good one here. What can a person do to detect cancer of the kidneys, the lungs, the bladder at an early stage if he or she has been exposed to arsenic in brown rice and well water over many years? Yes, ma'am. We've got a question from our audience. Go ahead. My question is, with kidney cancer, is it hereditary, number one? And number two, is there some kind of genetic testing that can be done? 
There are some types of kidney cancer that can be inherited, um, so it's important to, to find out the exact type of, of kidney can, can, cancer, whether it's like a papillary type or you know the exact type. Is there kind of a screening for this? Anybody want to ta tackle the, uh, the cancer of the esophagus? Heartburn is a very widespread problem in the Western world. Esophageal cancer, especially in certain subgroups of the population, has been on the rise. If you have symptoms, what I would say is please don't ignore them, get them checked out. It may be just plain old heartburn or you may be somebody who has a pre-cancer or even an actual cancer of the esophagus. That is scary, I'll tell you. Let's talk, doctor, about the uh, chemotherapy. You know, we always think once we have cancer, we're going into chemo. Heather, with the million dollar question here, how would you encourage one that might be scared to go to the doctor to get checked? I think everybody should answer this question. Go ahead, who wants, who has a, Dr. Choi, go ahead. I think it definitely goes back to the theme of the whole night, that knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Tony has one question. What are the MedStar health professionals doing in your communities outside of your practice to promote a better way of life? I think that all of us in our specific fields will go and give different talks um, at different places. And On Facebook Live here tonight, thank you so much. You know, when we come see you, all we wanna hear is, you're gonna live. <coughs> And with what we heard tonight, more of, we're gonna hear that more and more. Doctors, thank you for being so smart. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for taking your time out on this Thursday night. Thank you so much for joining us here at MedStar. It's been a great evening and I think knowledge is power, right? We nailed it tonight. Thank you on Facebook and we'll see you again.